For people with life-threatening allergies, the EpiPen is the first line of treatment. Recently, though, the price has gone sky high, and that's just one of the reasons a group of Florida researchers is working on an alternative. Dr. Frank McGeorge explains how it could work in this Good Health Report. Epinephrine is most potent when it's directly injected into a blood vessel, and that's what we do when someone's heart stops, for example. But to treat allergies, we typically inject the epinephrine subcutaneously. That means just under the skin, and that's what an EpiPen is designed to do automatically. Those aren't the only ways to get epinephrine into a person's body, though. George Jakeski has always been healthy. That's why it was so surprising seven years ago when he suddenly developed food allergies. I was covered with hives and my lips began to swell and my uh, throat began to close. And Tests show George is now allergic to both shellfish and milk protein. Like millions of adults and children, he needs to keep an EpiPen close by. It could be a lifesaver. But for George, who likes to travel and is into adventure, the EpiPen is cumbersome and not user-friendly. So what if this tablet could one day replace the needle? That's exactly what researchers at Nova Southeastern University have been working on for five years. The result is a tablet that disintegrates in 10 to 15 seconds, sending life-saving epinephrine into the bloodstream. And just like a tiny nitroglycerin tablet placed under the tongue, the epinephrine in the saliva would be absorbed without needles. The research team has already met with the Food and Drug Administration and plans to start human trials as soon as possible. They're going to touch a lot of people and they're going to touch and improve the, the quality of life of a lot of patients. The ability to be put in, say, my wallet or uh, in something that I will carry all the time and, and be able to uh, take it with me without even kind of remembering to have to take it with me is just going to be a blessing. Now the research team is also working on smaller tablets for children with a pleasant color and taste. Now the idea of giving epinephrine or other medications without a needle isn't new. For example, the antidote for heroin overdoses, naloxone, is now commonly being administered in the nose instead of by injection. What's unique about this research is the creation of the epinephrine nanocrystals that might be able to deliver the same dose that a needle could. Back to you. Evolution's working in the wrong direction. We're getting more <laughs> allergic to things instead it does of less. Seem like that way, kind doesn't of strange. It? Here's a quote.